Hi, it's Ashida Andre with the Red Carpet Report, and I'm here at the NAACP Awards Luncheon. Yes, nice to meet you. So tell us about your literary work that you have going on. I'm so excited to hear about it. Well, this is my first book, and it's entitled The 16th Minute of Fame. And I was inspired after being in a town and in a society that all kind of praises everybody getting their 15 minutes of fame. But I started thinking, it's not really about that if you're already going to get it. It's about thinking about the 16th minute and beyond if you want to sustain that success. So my book is about the sustainability of success. And I live in a town, I do film and television in Hollywood, and I'm in a town with sports and entertainment. You see a lot of rags and riches to rags. And I'm really trying to inspire people to think about the 16th minute and beyond and really change their mindset. Okay, so I got a couple of questions for you now. Okay, go on here and get comfortable squeezing with me here. So what is it about, you have your 15 minute, what should someone do for a 16 minute and beyond to sustain that? What is your advice on that? First thing I suggest is that you recognize we're in the 21st century, and so you can't use 20th century thinking to succeed today. And what do I mean by that? In the old days, everybody went to school, got a job, and kind of worked that job for 30 years. Today, with all the vertical integration and kind of different changing of jobs and just the way business operates, you've got to make multiple streams of revenue in order to do what you used to do in the 20th century. So in the 16th minute of fame, I talk about in chapter seven, my theory of seven streams of revenue and how to create and promote and generate and sustain seven streams of revenue as a way of guaranteeing that you'll be around for the 16th minute and beyond. Now, is there a strategic way that you can do that? Because now, you know, when I grew up, there was no internet, there was, you know, there was, no one had websites or anything like that. So is that another way of having a, a stream of income too, to sustain your, your um, availability and, and to sustain your stardom, as I would say? Well, the goal is sustainability. The methodology is really about leveraging your brand. And so when I get into the book, I talk about recognizing you're in your 15 minutes, recognizing what your brand is within the context of those 15 minutes, and then you start creating streams of revenue by leveraging that brand across different platforms. If I'm an actor, I can be a writer, I can be a producer, I can be a director, I can have real estate, I can have stock portfolio. I mean, you've got to start thinking strategically and not having your goal be one stream, but your goal be seven. I love that. Where can they find you? I don't know. I just hope. <laughs> you have a website? Where can they? The website, yeah, okay. six, the 16th minute of fame .com. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming by. That was a big, great interview. I love that. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. And be sure to watch the NAACP Image Awards February 6th on TV One.